Joyful, joyful Lord, we adore Thee, God of glory, Lord of love. Hearts unfold like flowers. Another weird thing that happened um, when she actually did pass the next day. So we get a call. In the middle of the night, it was like maybe like well, one, one a.m. or one, something. One o'clock. And the nurse goes, "Okay, she passed." And we start crying. I came to my son. I told him what happened. He starts tearing up. Five minutes later, the nurse calls back. She started breathing again, and we're you know in shock, like emotional roller coaster over here. But that's just like my mom, stubborn. Like no, I say when. I say when I'm going. So me, my dad, my brother Blake rushed down to the hospital and we were holding her hand and you know just trying to she didn't seem like she was there her eyes were open but she was still like gasping for air. I don't want to go into the details but um we we held her hand for maybe like 45 minutes to an hour or something like that and they said it could be a while and so I went home and my brother left too well he was going to go to uh, eat he said he yeah, was hungry he went to go eat and the nurse, as I was leaving, she was telling me, because she's been doing this a while, and she said that she was there when her dad passed. She said, sometimes they wait till you leave. And literally, like, right after my dad left, that's when she decided to go, which is also another beautiful trait about her is that she's so considerate like that. Like, she didn't want us to remember that. She didn't want us to witness that. So she waited until he walked off the Because I didn't pick a song that, like, was her favorite. I didn't pick a song that I used to sing to her. Because I really don't think I would get through that. Um, when she was sick and like almost leaving coherency, I did sing Sweet Child of Mine. That was like our song together. Guns N' Roses was her favorite, if you knew her. Um, yeah, I sang that to her. And I did the Cheryl Crow version. And it was just cute because she's like on all these medications and stuff. Barely could talk. And like I'm singing to her and she's... So she whispers, like, she's like, you can sing it any way you want, you know, like, she knows it wasn't the actual Rose version, so I just thought that was really cute. And then I also sang it again to her, um, you know, in her last moments. I don't even think I could ever listen to that song again or sing it, but I just picked a song that um, felt appropriate, and I asked my friend to support me, because if you were at Grandma Martha's funeral, then you know... <laughs> It's hard for me to sing these songs, but she actually did like this, the movie that this song came from, that I know from, yeah, so. I'm gonna try. My voice is really dry because. Drink some more, more. <laughs> And then that keeps. <laughs> this is my phone, so I'll go, wait. <laughs> Nobody's in the line. And she has a microphone. I've only, I've only met her mom a couple of times, but when I was over there, she always fed me and made sure I was good and made sure that she was good and gave me endless hugs. Yeah. And it was good memories. Yeah. Oh, we only have one? All right. Right under. Oh. Oh. Sweet. Right. Wait. Is this one louder? Because maybe we should switch them. Hello? Hello? Technical difficulty. Hello. Hello. Okay. You're really low. You're softer. Hello. Yeah. Hello. I need the quieter one. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> we should have done the sound check. Here we go. All right. <laughs> <laughs>
Give 